Uh, you mentioned last week, and you're probably getting up to that, is that the, uh, the Dunn Director, I think, I think it's a new title, would be under the AGM, which is very problematic to begin with. But probably mostly more important is that uh, the general manager of CDD would be actually be picking the director. That flies in the face of several things. Number one, the mayor now uh, selects a GM. Right. And the city council appoints it. I suspect they're not going to go along with that. And we're going to push probably that they don't go along with it. Because now you completely lost the independence. The CDD GM is not going to be looking to pick someone that, number one, he gets along with, which may not be, which may not be someone that we get along with. Yeah. Number two, someone that's going to, uh, if he has a vision for CDD, so you, I mean, you can just go down a list of reasons. Well, let me, let me make a commitment to you publicly on camera. Is it on? <laughs> uh, yes, it has been. Okay, yes. ready? Thank you. Um, I'm gonna Let me see throw on you, all possible candidates to the wolves, guys. So we're gonna put a committee together. Um, neighbor councils will participate. We'll get bond participation. We'll get CD2's participation. But we're gonna go through a very, very public process. We appreciate that. Yeah. Absolutely, 100. percent I think, and you're sincere. Yeah. But you don't speak for the CDD general manager. Yes, I do. I've already talked. Who maybe who may change. You, you don't speak of no, you're, no, you're not speaking not, about the next guys. the next administration yeah. when you're no longer here yeah. possibly we're talking about enshrining now an ordinance and possibly a charter change the fact that the head of Dunn our Dunn now is a second fiddle to the CDD general manager who has complete authority of course he's open to persuasion obviously yeah. to pick the head of Dunn. That is unacceptable. To me, that's DOA. Well, quite honestly, the head of Dunn has always been the general manager. I mean, he's always been the mayor's hire. Yes. But we have been always done a very open process yes. for that. And you will have the same commitment. You wouldn't have any natural control over that process if anyway. it weren't for the mayor's office in relation to general manager. And you'll have the same commitment from this mayor and I hope prior mayors. But it's, you'd still need the mayor's permission to participate in the hiring of general manager. General manager is a straight up, you know, uh, right for a mayor, is a straight up mayor's hire. Uh, We've always done a, a, a process. No, no I understand, I understand there's more, there's more involvement. The charter, that's the way But the city council would, would confirm the mayor's selection. This, this is eliminated now. Now it's become a purely administrative process, not a public process anymore. If the mayor for some reason just doesn't, he says, listen, pick someone that you can work with. We've got some programs that we think we need to push forward. And if you think this guy's going to be better for those programs, maybe not as good for Don. I mean, I don't want to get into you know, a pissing contest of is this mayor or that. We're enshrining now in law right. that from now on, there's no independence for Don, period.